So the Unihertz Tank 3 8849 is a device I've been using for about a month. I've been making a few videos about it and to give you guys full coverage of this device if you are in the market of purchasing the Tank 3. But in this video, I want to talk about three pros and three cons and maybe a deal breaker for most people. So let's get into it. Sit back and relax and get your popcorn ready. Ah, oh, and follow me on this journey. Let's go. What's up guys, this is Eric back with another video. So let's talk about three pros and three cons of the Unihertz Tank 3. Let's talk about number one, which is performance. But before I talk about performance, let's talk about the tech nerd stuff. A lot of tech nerds like to hear the specs. What about the specs? Let's get into it. We got a 6.8 inch 1080p, uh, 120 hertz display on here. Yes, 120 hertz. We got the Dimensity 8200 processor that's clocked at 3.1 gigahertz on the four nanometer process. That's what I'm talking about. We got 16 gigs of RAM that can be expanded up to 26 gigs of RAM using memory expansion. That's what I'm talking about. We got an insane 512 gigs of storage in here with SD card support up to one terabyte. Do some support in here. Now in the back, you got all these cameras. 200 megapixel, we have a 64 megapixel, 50 megapixel, 8 megapixel night vision on here. And in the front, you got a 50 megapixel camera. The 8849 has an insane 23,800 milliamp battery in here. You get days and days of use. Not only that, you got a lot of extras. Headphone jack, IR blaster, a huge camping light on the back, NFC, IP68 uh, uh, rating on here, 5G support with Wi-Fi 6, Android 13 to boot. So yes, this device come fully loaded. It's packed with a lot of features. But let's talk about some of the performance things that I want to talk about here on this device. The performance here is a pro. Outstanding performance on here. Dimensity processor, 16 gigs of RAM. I'm getting very good performance out of the Unihertz Tank. This is gonna be the best performing device out of the Tank series, but this is gonna be the best performing device, period. It's very smooth and fluid. Playing games is a breeze. Opening app is, is a breeze. I was, I'm very impressed overall with the performance here on the Unihertz Tank 3. So that is a pro. So let's talk about pro number two, and that is battery life. Now listen, I receive a few requests to do battery drain tests on the Tank 3. And all my replies to people that have been asking me to do a battery drain test on this device is that, listen, man, I can't do it. I can't stay up for a week straight to watch this device doing the, a drain test. If you follow my YouTube channel and you see the video battery test that I've done on plenty of devices. I've stayed up for 12 to 13 to 14 hours monitoring the devices as they do the battery drain test. It's no way that I could do that with the Unihertz Tank 3. All I can tell you is this, whatever phone you currently have, the Tank 3 will beat it multiple times. Now listen, this device can beat the Tank 1 and the Tank Two, when it come down to battery life. Standby time is off the charts with the Tank 3. So you know what? That's a pro. That's number two, battery life. It's unmatched. Any device that I have in my arsenal cannot even come close to the Tank 3. So when it come down to battery life, listen people, no worries about battery drain tests on the Tank 3. Whatever device you have in your pocket, this device will beat it five times over. So no worries about battery life on the Tank 3, baby. So coming in at number three for a pro is extras. I mean, you got a lot of extras with this device, such as a very bright camping flashlight on the back. You got a headphone jack, IR blaster, night vision camera, a range finder, dual SIM support, SD card support, 120 watt charger in the box, screen protectors in the box. You got two box software, which get you through any kind of outdoor things such as the pedometer, speedometer, campus, and more. I mean, listen, you got things on this device that current flagships 
can't even dream about better life, camping stuff. I mean, just IRR blasters, do sim, SD call support. A lot of current devices don't even have those features, but it's available on the Tank 3. And that is a pro. So that's my three pros with the Tank 3. But as you know, no phone is perfect. But let's talk about some of the cons with the Tank 3 and maybe a deal breaker. So let's talk about con number one, the cameras. Now I've been having this device for, for about a month and I was told by Unihertz uh, that a camera software update will come. I haven't received it. As you guys know that I've made a video comparing the Tank 1, Tank 2, Tank 3 when it comes down to the cameras. Look, let me show you parts of the camera review that I did so you can see what I'm talking about. So check this out. The Chosen. So as we look at these photos, here's what I'm seeing. The Tank 2 looks really good with some nice details and good contrast. And the Tank 1 also looks really good. But unfortunately, the Tank 3 needs a few little tweaks and updates because the photos look a bit washed out and lack a little detail. Also, the color science is a little different compared to the Tank 1 and the Tank 2. But as of me recording this video, uh, it's been a week before release. Even though I received the final bill, but there's definitely some updates needed for the Unihertz Tank 3. As you can see, this device desperately need a camera update. And again, I was told by Unihertz that an update was coming, but unfortunately I haven't received it yet. So I have to put the cameras as a con until we receive the update. And when I receive the update for the cameras, I will definitely make another video so y'all guys could know the updates with the cameras on the Unihertz Tank 3. So that is a con. So coming in at number two is software updates. Now since the Tank 3 is now a big player in the game with high-end specs and everything else in between at a mid $400 price point, Unihertz has to commit to software updates. Look, as of now, my Unihertz Tank 3 is up to date, October updates. My Tank 2 and my Tank 1 hasn't received any updates in a while. Now, don't get me wrong. I love these devices, but Unihertz had to step up to the plate and support these devices with OS updates and faster, timeless security patches. The Tank 1 is on Android 12. The Tank and the Tank 3 is on Android 13, but Android 14 is rolling out right now. So will the Tank 2 or Tank 3 get Android 14? I don't know. Looking at the history of Unihertz Tank, probably not, right? Looking at the history of Unihertz, probably not. So that is a big deal. That is a problem. That is something that concerns me about these devices, right? Hopefully, uh, Unihertz will fix this problem, especially now since they're a big player in the game when it comes down to specs. But that is number two kind on the list for the Unihertz tank, and it may be a deal breaker for some people. But yes, that is a kind. So coming in at number three, and it may be a big deal breaker for most people, is the weight. Look, the tank three weighs at 666 grams. It's very heavy for a smartphone. Let me put this in perspective. The Galaxy S23 Ultra weighs at 234 grams. The iPhone 15 Pro Max weighs only 221 grams. So at 666 grams, the Tank 3 is heavier than the Galaxy S23 Ultra and the iPhone, 4, iPhone 15 Pro Max put together and it will still be lighter than the Tank 3. So that is a huge problem. This device is so heavy. It's very difficult to use as a daily driver. For me, it's very difficult to use as a daily driver. It's definitely a kind. This device is heavy. One of the heaviest devices I've ever had. It's heavier than the Tank 1, which is very heavy. Now the Tank 2 shaved off a few uh, ounces, uh, a few grams, but when the Tank 3 came out, it gained weight. Just so you know, 666 grams, this device is absolutely a brick in your pocket. And that is my third kind, and it may be a deal breaker for some people. So there you have it. Three pros, 
three kinds, using the Udhurst Tank 3 after a month. Are you willing to pay mid $400 for a one and done device? Listen, there's no fluff, no passes here, baby. Are you willing to pay mid $400 for a device that's one and done? And I would almost guarantee you 90% of anybody will probably say no. So Unihertz have to step up to the plate and support these devices for the long haul. Even if they do at least two years of software updates, if they do at least one OS update with all security patches, I would like that because right now with the history of Unihertz, they are one and done with their devices. I have a lot of Unihertz devices here and I have more that I reviewed on this YouTube channel and all of them has been one and done devices. And listen, I want Unihurt to step up to the plate because I really do like the Tank series of devices, but come on now, we need to get more security patches, more timely updates, and we need to get some OS updates, especially for the Tank 1. Look, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Tank 1, Tank 2, Tank 3, and all is glory. No fluff, no passes on this YouTube channel. See you guys on the next video. Peace.